So we finally get part two and I'm lucky enough to get it just a bit early. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the sneaker circle. It is your boy Danny back with another review. And in today's review, we are going to cover the next chapter. So these are officially dubbed that the Air Jordan one next chapters. They are the collaboration between Nike Air Jordan and the animated series Spider-Man, specifically Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. So this has probably been one of those shoes that I've been looking forward to since last year, since the leaks came out. And I'm pretty stoked that I was able to get it on a shock drop. I was able to get picked. So I'm going to get these out. Then we can get into the full review. We can check out the box. We can check out the details and a little bit about how these are being kind of slept on. Let's get straight into it. All right. So out of the box onto the table. Let's get straight into this review. And I guess we could just clear some release dates out first. So these did shock drop on Nike earlier this week, but the official release isn't until May 20th. And then the official release of the film across the Spider-Verse doesn't come out until June 2nd. So there's still some, you know, some time to potentially get a pair. Lately, I always thought shock drops for the sneakers app was kind of bad because it wasn't really a secret. People would know about it like days before and they prep for it. Nike says it does do a good job at deterring bots and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's just a chance of draw. I still saw some botters out there who were able to get pairs, but I feel like I'm kind of the exception right now because I was able to hit. I was able to actually touch a pair. So let's get the boring details out of the way first. It's a regular box. If you're interested in what the box logo or label says, here we go. Pause to read or take a quick screenshot. It does have university red, so it is very Chicago-esque, but the shoes themselves are just so crazy. So what's really cool is that in some places you would see these as a Marvel product as well as a Nike Air Jordan product. And on the sneakers app, you do have actual illustrations like from the first movie of Miles Morales wearing a pair of Chicago's, which is super cool. So just like the first collaboration between them, this one grabs the Chicago color blocking and kind of transforms it in a way that kind of matches the film. And I've, I've heard a lot, an absolute ton of gripe from people about the way they look, but I honestly really love these. I really like how these are. So let's get a quick build out of the shoe. I'm gonna leave that close the light to see if I can charge that sole a little bit more into it if I can actually show it on camera but these do feature a glow in the dark sole so unlike the first pair the first pair was translucent and would get dirty incredibly fast but I, I still think they're super dope these have a, a kind of like a gelish sole so it's a rubber it's a, it's a bit translucent maybe you can't see on camera I do think they might get yellow but not as bad as like a clear sole would and the whole thing behind it is that it glows white which is crazy dope so there are four primary materials used on the sneaker. We have a leather, little bits of suede. We have different types of leather. I actually have to preference that. So there is no Marvel branding or Spider-Man branding on the sneaker, but it is being recognized as an official collab. It is an official collab with the movie itself. So it's like a Sony Spider-Verse kind of deal. The materials that follow are this right here, which is kind of like a canvas with the printed material right on top of it. We have little hints of suede. It's a, it's a rougher suede, but considering all that's going on with the sneaker, I don't mind it not being, you know, the softest thing in the world. On the back, we have this type of leather that has almost like a gradient to it, a print on it. So it's different from this. This feels a little smoother, thinner, while this still feels like a leather and you can kind of see the leather cut right there. And then we have patent leather on the swoosh and on the collar itself. And then you have certain types of patent leather. Like you have the Chicago red patent leather right here, and another Chicago red patent leather right here. The cool part about it, though, is there are two different types of patent leather. So this is just your standard patent leather that you'd see like on the reimagined breads or any other pair of Air Jordan. But the cool part of the, about the black patent leather on this and on the swoosh itself is that it has a bit of translucent to it. So you'll see kind of not translucent, like a prism effect on it. So in certain lighting choices, you will see kind of like a rainbow effect. That's actually pretty sick. If I get a picture of it, I'll get a picture of it, but it's really like, it's really noticeable, like in person. Then you have another little detail of red patent leather right here. So only three or four touch points of patent leather and it's not a lot. I honestly thought the patent leather on the collar would be a bit problematic, but honestly it doesn't affect wearability in any way, shape or form. It's a softer patent leather. It's not as stiff as I remember other pairs being. Then this shoe isn't completely white. It has kind of like 
a cream to the white itself. It has a really red tone. It's really apparent on the tongue itself. The white portions of the leather themselves aren't really that processed. It's actually pretty nice. I want to get a close up because you can actually start seeing the imperfections of the leather on the red and here. Not so much on this pair because it has kind of like, it's almost at the cusp of being, being a new book. Like grind it down a little more and you can definitely get a new book out of this. And all the details that use red leather is toe box right here. But what's really weird is this leather and this leather doesn't don't feel like the same cut. This one has more of a texture to it. Well, this one is a little more uniform. So this one's like a rougher leather. I'm telling you, the amount of detail that goes into this sneaker is pretty crazy. Now, a lot of people were giving this shoe kind of like a bad name, already like writing it off as a, a garbage release because of all the design choices made on the sneaker. On the printed canvas materials, which it's a really thin. Here's a picture of how thin that layer is compared to the under canvas layer. But to be honest, everything that was being said about this sneaker was also said about the first one because the first one had dots. Don't I'll show that pair a little bit later when I compare. But it had smaller dots and it kept the theme going because the first Spider-Man Spider-Verse movie really used Kirby dots, which is something very prominent in comic books to show like energy. It used this to kind of pull focus, give it a unique animated film or feel since that was a combination of 2D drawing and 3D drawing, and it was probably one of the best animated films that released that year. So the hopes I have for part two are insane. So we do get this dot pattern throughout the entire upper collar. Here you have more pronounced dots. Again, Kirby dots are the theme there. And then it splits onto smaller dots, which are used a little more throughout the character builds. Here you have the bigger dots right here. And then on the other side, you have the smaller dots. So it's kind of like mixed and matched. And every single placement on one sneaker is the same exact as the other sneaker. So if you look at this one, Kirby dots are in the interior of the collar, while Kirby dots are split on the interior as well, or the, out, the outside of the sneaker. Yeah, I think I'm getting too much sunlight in right now to actually show you the glow of the sole, but I'll probably post a picture if I can find one. I know there were some on Twitter showing how good that glow is, and it's unique, it's not green, it's like a white glow. So moving on to the rest of the shoe, I feel like I gotta be a little more detailed about these because there's just some more de so many more details to cover. The tongue feels a little bit stiffer than normal. So I, I think this is a good chance to bring out the first pair and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna leave these charging again because I hope I really hope I can make that work. And here we have the first colorway. The original origin story is what they're dubbed. These are probably one of my favorite Air Jordan ones in my collection because the leather on these is just so nice. But kind of like the first pair, you see dots on the swoosh, you see dots on the upper. It has that Kirby dot effect right here on this softer material up here, also dots. It's really cool. So when we're talking tongues on these, I feel like this new origin story has a higher tongue than most Air Jordan ones these days. Another thing they did is instead of giving us the traditional Nike Air wrapped around, so we have all those disclaimers and terms and conditions or the copyright information on the back of the Nike Air. I guess since this is a Marvel project and a Nike Air project, this is purely speculation, but they couldn't add that to the back of this one. So you actually have nothing on the back and it feels like this one's a little bit more padded. So the tongue is a little bit thicker while the tongue on this one is what I'm used to on Air ones where it's kind of like easier to move. There's not a lot of padding in there while these 100%, they're a little bit taller and they have that padding. So you can kind of tell with how high it sits compared to right here. But then I have this one, it doesn't sit as high. Now I haven't purchased a pair of Air Jordan ones in a good minute. I don't know if this is like the new standard or if this is something exclusive to this. And it's just like a detail you have to notice. The tongue is split. So you have a bit of white, a bit of red up here. It's kind of like that heritage. It does have that really warm red tone. It reminds me of Lost and Founds, but a little bit darker, if that makes sense. All in all, I really feel like they did a good recreation or a part two because their whole theme of grab a pair of Chicago's and then make it unique is to me really dope, especially since I'm, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. So I guess the final thing we could do about before I go to the on feet is talk a little bit about sizing. I did lace these up. I did try them on because they felt like a really stiff sneaker. So I was a little bit worried that they would fit like 85s, which is, you know, really narrow in the toe, really like hard to break in. But I threw these on, not the case. They fit just like these. It's just that tongue having a little bit more padding and a little bit stiffer kind of feels nice because on these and almost every Air Jordan one I have, 
The tongue has a tendency to kind of like sway to one side or sway to the other side. Kind of has a tendency to sway to one side or sway to the other side. While these kind of really have a good placement on the front of your foot. So all in all, I think this is a great release. I really do think these are being slept on or are gonna be slept on heavily. We can only tell on release day. Can I get it? Can I get it to work? Nah, I can't get it to work. I'll post a picture. So let's go ahead and throw these on feet. I'll probably do a quick walkthrough of what these look like on feet for the most part. And then at the very end, I'll throw these on foot if you really wanna compare. Cause again, these to me are really goaded. I really, really, really enjoy these as a sneaker and just as a Spider-Man fan, you know? So let's get these on feet. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. If you made it this far, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think about these. Are they trash? Are they sleepers? Are you gonna try for them? Or are you just gonna try to sell them? Whatever the case may be, I'm down for the conversation. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be easy. Or I'll see you guys in the next one. Be easy.